Hey, Viking fans, training camp is upon us, and ESPN talked with Kevin O'Connell about his coaching philosophy. Let's talk about that next. Welcome to Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter at Skull World, Facebook Skull World, and TikTok Skull World. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, and comment. Any comment you make after you subscribe, you can enter my contest. I am giving up to $100 on merchandise in a gift card form to any website. Hopefully, you buy Vikings gear with it. Uh, right now, I am at 352 subscribers. So if I get to 500, I'll be at 50. And the rules are in the description below. Now, let's talk about ESPN and the latest publicity they've been giving us. Now, they've done a couple, well, USA Today did a story. Now, ESPN did, and Kevin Seifert did a pretty favorable review comparing what Zimmer's regime was like to what Kevin O'Connell's is going to be like. And one of the things they talked about is how, like, they just scheduled that third day off at OTA as, as a reward. Um, it didn't even like, hey, if you play hard, it's yours. Well, they, they kind of schedule it in, and he's he's basically going at it with the players need to recover. And, and he's not playing mind games with them. He just wants to, to get them, you know, get – get them to know the why behind things and they know it's a grind. There are situations in OTAs where he had the skill positions go at a hundred percent and he had the uh, interior linemen on both sides of the ball going at 50 to save them in these dog days of, of summer. Now I think he's taken that mindset going into to training camp and that'll come out in some of these quotes that I've, I've, uh, I've taken out of the article. Kevin Seifert reports, and Ke um, these are quotes by Kevin O'Connell. I just feel like it's part of an empowering our team. From the first day I set foot in the building, I talked about players' ownership. They can, they can't own something that they, that is not completely an understanding of. I just feel like you communicate intentions of what we're trying to to get done. You have a clear cut plan. You give these guys the why behind everything we do, and then. It's remarkably remarkable how easy it is to connect with them and coach them hard through there because they because they understand it. So he's saying how you can, you know, I agree with everything he says. If a player knows the why, they're gonna they're not gonna be thinking about the why because they already know it. And you think about it in your job. So your boss tells you, "Hey, do this," and you're thinking why, and you don't ask. Then you're like the whole time you're thinking why? Why are we doing this? And you might half ass it. And and that's like when you ask your mom when you're a kid and they say, Because I said so, that's not a good reason. That's not the why behind it. But um, and that's what it was maybe like with Zimmer, do it my way or the highway. Um, younger guys who don't understand that concept, uh, get in his doghouse, end up not playing. Now, this, he's giving them the why up front. They're gonna they're not gonna worry about the why, and they're gonna actually compete and without having to think about it. And I think, I think that's a great approach. Um, this may be considered a friend, a player friendly approach. It just makes sense. And I think that's a modern day NFL that you're, you're telling them the why. And if you have the why they're they're not going to worry about it and they're just going to stop thinking and perform. And, that, and that's my opinion. Uh, there's no wizard of Oz behind the curtain somewhere. It's here's the plan for the week. We have to get this, this, and this done. Here's how we're going to do it. And then you've got to be able to have the tough conversation when you don't. You say, we didn't do the things that we needed to do, so this is why we have to alter and change. It's not because some old truck or some old trick or some philosophy thing. It's just we're trying to get it done, some things that need to get done. A little redundant, of, of course, but he makes his point that, hey, we're not trying to trick you here. We, I told you what we wanted to accomplish. We didn't get it done, so we need to adjust. And that makes perfect sense. I don't know how many times you heard Zimmer in a press conference. We had a terrible practice. 
so so and so did terrible blah 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 this is a better approach hey we we didn't accomplish what we needed to get done as a team and this is why we're doing it this is how we're adjusting we're adapting and i g- great approach they know the why they know the goal they didn't they know they didn't reach the goal hey here's what we need to fix it awesome approach i it's a breath of fresh air with Kevin O'Connell as head coach. O'Connell said it on this is ESPN. O'Connell said much of the practice plan is based on sports science. He hired Tyler Williams as executive director of player health to overall the team's medical staff. And players said the difference was clear this spring. Veteran cornerback Patrick Peterson said he had never felt better at the end of an offseason program. That is great to hear. There's a lot of talk about Sugarman not being a very uh Good guy, um, even though I think r- recently Rudolph thanked him um, when he left the Vikings about helping him, you know, m- you know, be a uh, healthy football player. There are guy. Uh, it seemed, though, that he didn't, Sugarman didn't care about the younger rookies. He gave them more tough love. And uh, I think I think that has changed because, um, obviously, Patrick Peterson agrees with that. Uh, he goes on to be quoted as, no doubt about it. My body feels great. Guys ask me all the time, does it feel like I'm year, in year 12? No, it really doesn't. I don't know if it's been this offseason, the way coach has been taking care or just the sports science in general. You can see really talking, the, the team is really taking the necessary steps to making sure that guys are on the field on Sundays when we need them. Great point. Best ability is availability. He's making sure that these guys will have their legs under him. Zimmer did a lot of that. He sat, he sat down. He, he gave uh, veterans time off in practice. So he had veterans days and stuff like that. This is, I think, a more organized approach to it. Um, you don't need to go full pads and hit the sled every day in, in the modern NFL. And he sure as hell probably didn't have to do it in the old NFL. You know, Players getting hurt does not help your team. Uh, it goes on. Kendricks adds to it. It's on us now as well. It can't just be on them. It can't just be on who we appoint, the head guy. It has to be on the players as well. Like myself, we have put those years and time into this league. If I want change, I've got to be the change myself. This is an example of him empowering players. They feel, according to Kendricks, that they can make the change, that they have the power to make the change themselves. And it really showed in the uh, offseason after they uh, had the the ownership got the veterans together, even Patrick Peterson, who was no, no longer on contract, and can't, had him come to the meeting and said, hey, what do we need? And I think uh, when they when they hired Kevin O'Connell, it was an answer to that need. And it lo- it just looks positive going into the season. And I'm starting to see more and more people, YouTube, um, mainstream, NFL Network, really start to talk about the Vikings and how we're a dark horse. There's still haters out there ranking us 19th in the league, 23rd in the league. We're, we're a better team than that. The Bet the over on, I think it's gone up to 9.0 on the wins. So bet the over on the Vikings winning more than nine games and the, and the making the playoff bet because... It just, everything's pointing to that. We got the personnel. We definitely got the offense. The defense is, if if everything comes into plan with the uh, coaching we have on the defensive side that's been very successful in this league, we're going to have a, a breakout team this year. We are a destination franchise, both physically and now personnel coaching-wise. Hey, Skull Vikings, that's it for today. This is Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, Skull World. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, and comment below. Every comment you make helps push uh, the YouTube algorithm to get me um, get me out there, and I appreciate everything you do for me. Skull Vikings, see you next time.